Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's Red Flag Review, we are going to go through a case study based on the condition Cordrequina syndrome. Cordrequina syndrome refers to the compression of the cordrequina, which is the bundle of nerves and nerve roots at the very base of the spinal cord. The two main causes of cordrequina syndrome are due to a prolapsed intervertebral disc or due to a malignant spinal cord compression. Cordrequina syndrome is a medical emergency, which if suspected requires radiological diagnosis, normally through an MRI scan of the lumbar spine, and if confirmed requires emergency surgical decompression. Without doing so, there is a risk of permanent nerve damage, potentially including paralysis or incontinence. So let's go into our case study before we look at the key signs behind cordrequina syndrome. So here we have Michael, a 29-year-old male builder who reports a six-month history of low back pain with a gradual onset, which he noticed coming on with increased bending at work. However, he reports that his symptoms have become worse in the last month as he has developed pain in both legs to the calf, where the right leg pain is more intense than the left. He now also reports frequent pins and needles in the lateral foot of the right leg, which equates to the S1 dermatomal distribution. However, on arrival at his assessment today, he reports some more symptoms, which have only come on in the last few days. These include weakness in both legs, where he feels he has had less coordination when walking, as well as constipation in relation to his bowel movements. He also reports he has noticed numbness in his genital area at this time, as well as being unable to pass water for up to eight hours at a time. So next, let's examine the theory. Here are the key red flags which can be attributed to possible signs of cordrequina syndrome. Loss of sphincter tone and altered sensation in the S4 dermatome. Urinary retention and bowel incontinence. Disturbed gait. And bilateral pins and needles in the legs which spread below the knee. Furthermore, the following list illustrates symptoms which patients may say in their subjective history which may be describing any of the previously mentioned red flags. These include bilateral leg pain and or paresthesia which spreads below the knee, which is potentially a sign of a central cord compression. Saddle paresthesia and or saddle anesthesia, where the saddle area is referred to as around the anus, the perineum, the genitals or even the very top of the medial femur. This relates to the S4 dermatome. Insensitivity to urine passing down the urethra during micturition. Bladder dysfunction, which relates to urinary retention with or without overflow incontinence, as well as difficulty in voiding. It is important to note that urinary retention is considered to be the symptom which is most sensitive to cordrequina syndrome. Fecal incontinence. Gait disturbance, which may be described as heaviness in the legs or more distinct symptoms such as flopping of the feet. Sexual dysfunction, which for men may equate to erectile dysfunction and for women may equate to pain during intercourse, also known as dyspareunia. Whilst each of these symptoms need to be considered in isolation, those who present with true cordrequina syndrome are most likely to present with a combination of symptoms rather than just one. So back to Michael. Has what we've discussed raised your suspicions of his symptoms? The fact that Michael's symptoms have been worse in the last month paints a picture of progressive neurological irritation, which can be consistent with a gradual increase in nerve compression. This is compounded with a development in his symptoms in the last few days. As discussed, bilateral sciatic symptoms are a big indication of a central spinal cord compression and raises suspicions of cordrequina syndrome. The weakness in the legs is another concern as it describes gait disturbance. Now, constipation. This symptom is actually a red herring rather than a red flag, and in fact is something that patients may often report as a side effect of taking certain analgesic medications. However, numbness in the genital area as well as urinary retention are both potential signs of cordrequina syndrome, as we highlighted earlier. Thus, if Michael was a patient in your cubicle, you would need to speak to a senior colleague, and if cordrequina syndrome was suspected, you would need to send Michael straight to A&E so that an MRI scan could be taken in order to diagnose cordrequina syndrome, and also so that a decision as to whether surgery was needed or not could be made. And that completes this red flag review. Thank you as always for watching and for all our best tips and videos, head over to our YouTube channel or join us again at clinicalphysio.com.